Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Time for me to go. I had a wild ride that ended well. I've been a lurker here for a few years, helping others where I could in reading everyone else's stories to help heal my own. This community is really incredible. I don't believe I'd be where I am now if it weren't for everyone on here, the good and the bad. I'm confident in declaring that my infidelity adventure has come to a conclusion, and I'm ready to move on. If anybody is interested in my little narrative, hardships and ending, please read on. Mostly, I simply need to get this off my chest. Infidelity. My 13-year-old wife, with whom I have a 12-year-old kid, was found to be cheating on me with many people. I'm a computer and was able to retrieve TXDS, screenshots, personal notes, movies, and the entire shebang which I patiently kept up over months to make a strong case. She had been cheating for three years and had to be treated for STI as a result. I got checked and am clean, thankfully. She cheat while I was at work. When I was with our kid, when I was doing chores, you name it. I also discovered she was a high-functioning who took out credit cards in my name and piled up tens of thousands of dollars in debt in my name. Debt that will take me five dash six years to repay, harming not just myself but also our kid. With all of this data, I created a separation agreement to which I double-checked with a lawyer for accuracy. I showed it to her one morning last summer, 2019, and she freaked out and struck me a couple of times. I phoned the police to have her removed from the home. I did not press charges, but the officers did. She had been high on a combination of perks and beer that morning. I provided her with all of the proof, gigabytes of it, later that week and requested she study and sign the paperwork. She challenged the conditions of the agreement, requesting that I grant her full custody merely so she could get more government funds since she does not work. Fortunately, I had a few strong stances, and I pushed her hard to have this done considering what she's done to my life and the lives of our kid. She consented to sign the document. She ended up with nothing, no alimony, no home, no property. I just upped the amount of child support I was paying. Overall, it cost me $2,000 by the time it was signed which is a bargain compared to some of the prices I've heard on here. I was no longer enraged. I was so depressed that I didn't even celebrate the signing. I only wanted she would overcome her addictions. Unfortunately, it did not occur. She continued to rely on government aid, was homeless for a while, ultimately obtained an apartment, but continued to misuse drugs and alcohol while refusing to get treatment. She now faces multiple criminal charges, and she also destroyed my house one evening when I was gone. Shattered windows, Spray painted a message on the wall. Fortunately, there were cameras. She hasn't gotten any better, and she only sees our kid a few of hours a week. A full downhill spiral. I cared for her for a few months. Despite the damage she caused in my life, I still tried to help her out with favors, but eventually I said F it. She chose this for herself, and I gave up pitying her and cut contact with her through a restraining order, with restrictions to only contact me about our child. She has repeatedly broken those terms barging into my home, intruding onto the property, and harassing calls and texts. There was just no attempt to improve her position, the following. I had no intention of meeting anybody since I had been put off by my ex's experience with relationships. But I had a great connection with a girl who was a little older than myself. In every aspect, we had a lot in common. We ended up dating and became closest friends. She had also left a marriage under similar circumstances, so we were both aware of what the other had gone through. I couldn't be happier. It's a night and day change from my last relationship. I feel like a new guy, and we seem to compliment one other. She has now moved in and gets along well with my kid, as I do with hers. We're like a new family, and everyone gets along and is content. My negative sentiments, pity, and contempt for my ex-wife have all but vanished. I don't even think of her until she texts or calls concerning our kid, which is a rare event. It's good to have that period of my life finally seem like it belongs in the past things can improve. I know a lot of you are suffering, fearing the worst, having worries about the future, and regretting your decisions. I thought the same things, that I'd never break out of that rut, and that my life would be a nightmare. Even though I'm still tens of thousands of dollars in debt and currently having my home restored, I'm in a good mood. I got out of the hole, and you will as well if you stay with it. The amount of time it takes to heal is not fixed. It will arrive when it comes for you. I wish you all the best of success and thank you everyone for your time. Story 2 Wife cheated on me with Aaron Boner Hello everyone. 
I am 28 years old and have been married for six years. In February, I discovered that my wife had an affair with the proprietor of an Airden when we stayed in Hawaii. In September 2018, my wife and I traveled to Hawaii. We had usually stayed in hotels in Hawaii, but this time we opted to stay at an Airden to get a more local feel for the island. When we arrived at the Airden, the owner met us outdoors. He was a young man in his 30s who worked as a Vance photographer and was really kind. We had a fantastic vacation for the whole week, and the Airden was an excellent decision. After we left the island, the owner of the Airden remarked and paid close attention to my wife on social media. She fell into several of his snares. Leave your deadbeat spouse and I could make your fashion career fantastic, he offered. Come live with me on the island, he'd add. I can get you a job at Vans, he'd say. I could always tell there was something wrong between myself and my wife. I would approach her about specific issues, but she would always deny them. She would interact with him through Snapchat, Instagram, and sometimes FaceTime. I became so intrigued one day that I began searching around for proof. I felt awful going behind her back at first, but I felt compelled to do it. I saw an email she sent to a psychic in which she asked the psychic, Do you see anything with a guy called? He just came to my life. My heart sank the moment I wrote it. I quickly grabbed my phone and texted, were the contents of the email. Of course, she denied everything and gave me the runaround and I believed her. Six to ten months passed, but I could always tell something was different. I'd always remember her reaction when I asked her what the email was about, and it gave me a horrible feeling. I began getting strange nightmares and not sleeping properly. It eventually escalated to an anxious panic attack, something I had never had before in my life. These assaults would occur just before I went to sleep. I ultimately resorted to marijuana to help me relax and sleep. She opted to visit Hawaii with her sister during the summer of 2019. I couldn't go on the vacation since I had job commitments. Of course, I paid for the whole trip to go with her sister, and I had no idea she was meeting up with the owner of the air where we had previously been. She sneaked out the door when her sister was asleep, and the man picked her up in his automobile. They allegedly had in his vehicle before splitting up. She says she didn't like it the whole time and felt terrible as soon as she got in the vehicle. She has felt terrible, sorry, shameful, and even suicidal as a result of her acts. She kept this tiny secret hidden for over two years. She chose to come clean about it since we were having problems in our marriage. And I ultimately sat her down and told her that I believe it's best for us to split ways. That came as a complete surprise to me. My instant emotion was one of delight and gladness for her that she no longer had to carry that around with her. All night, I simply held her and we sobbed together. The following several days and perhaps weeks were the most difficult. I kept wondering how I hadn't seen this coming. What is it about me that compelled her to pursue another relationship? It's been over four months since I found out, and every night before bed, I still feel pain and despair. Every morning, my first thought is that she has been disloyal to me. I'm usually ill and queasy for the first two to three hours of the day. We've had a lot of heart-to-heart -heart talks, and I genuinely think she feels sorrow and wishes she could undo everything in an instant, but for some reason, I still feel terrible and queasy every day. Update. I eventually decided to contact the man since I was so fed up with everything emotionally. I contacted him on Instagram. I awoke the following morning to a message from his wife. His wife informed me that she spotted my message in his inbox and would want to speak with me. I decided to call her and chat about our significant others of. I was expecting to find out how much my wife was engaged in the connection and how much she really pushed it ahead, but she didn't have any proof for me. She claimed to have seen just one screenshot of my wife in a bikini on his phone. She said that the screenshot seemed to be a post on her Instagram story. So there wasn't anything specific that my wife sent him. She went on to describe her hubby and how he behaves. She said he is a narcissist who is too, and that my wife is one of 100 other women he has in his Instagram inbox. She said that she has been trying to get him assistance, but he is really hostile. She told me a tangential tale about him renting out an apartment on his property to a fitness model, and one day he forcefully thrust himself on her, but she resisted so strongly that he left. I suppose they came to an arrangement not to pursue charges between themselves. Following my talk with his wife, I am certain that my wife became involved with a predator. She became entangled, just like the hundreds of other girls he tortured. My wife was a victim, in my opinion.